Good morning everybody, Wayne Bolden. Saturday morning here with the Speed King having coffee. As always, please turn your closed captions on and remember we're 13 days out from the Breeders' Cup, right? Big race weekend for us as fans. Our tip sheets will be available for both days, Friday and Saturday. They're $20 per day um, and it's a great way to support us. So please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com and I would be remiss not to just say that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month so classy ladies please handle your business out there for sure. Make sure you're getting your screenings and your mammograms and my sisters and daughters and everybody you know very important stuff for sure. Well we'll take one more look at one more race at the Merlin Million. We did the classic already and we have a pretty decent opinion in there but we also have an opinion as I look through the eight or nine races they have there. I like the ninth race, the uh, Merlin Million Turf, a mile and a half, 125,000 for three-year-olds and up. And of course, it's a full field of uh, 13 with uh, three uh, AEs on there, right? 14, 15, and 16. So a full field, there's several ways you can go in here. I'm going to dial right into our top pick right away and uh, so we can get the video posted. The number eight horse can Cannon's Roar. Well, Cannon's Roar to me. Speed figures are tremendous on this horse. Um, this is an eight-year-old. I love betting older horses just to see them run. Well, Cannon's Roar is six wins from 39 starts, 12 seconds, and eight thirds. I know what you're thinking. This is a bit of a bridesmaid, and that is kind of true about Cannon's Roar. But the horse is four to one on the morning line. Has beautiful, beautiful speed figures by Orientate by. Um, Charismatic on the back end. Uh, we got uh, Sheldon Russell in the yards. Del Capano is doing all the training, and uh, I just I just think this horse has a great great shot, and I love the price at eight to one. Has enough speed not to be wide into the first turn in this mile and the eighth event, and I'm going to make Cannon Roar our top pick in the turf in the Merlin Million Turf. I like the eight horse a bunch in here. Well. Not going to have to look far for my second place horse that I think also has a great shot at winning. At 10 to 1, the number 4 horse, So Street. 10 to 1, So Street. Again, this is a 5 year old gelding. Three wins from uh, 23 starts, 4 seconds, and 2 thirds. Uh, Matt's is doing the training. You got uh, Toledo is in the yards. I always like that guy. And. Um, the horse is by Street Magic. The reason I like the horse is the last two races the horse ran were allowance races, but prior to that uh, race, uh, two races, he was off for uh, 294 days, okay, and returned on August 13th in an allowance race and uh, ran a decent race, went three quarters of the race and a mile and 16 on the front, lost by three and three quarters. That's pretty good after being away for almost you know, 290 days, darn near a year. They rolled the horse back for the second race off the layoff 42 days later, September 24th, in an allowance race. Again, set the pace in a mile, but faded to ninth by six. Now, this is the third race off the layoff. It's been 28 days since September 24th. Uh, the pace isn't that strong in here. Maybe this horse could sit behind the speed in this race, which I believe is the number 11 horse, uh, Wicked Prankster, right? So if the number 4 horse can sit right behind uh, Wicked Prankster, maybe he can get the jump on the rest of the 12 horses in here. We love the price on the number 4 horse uh, at 10 to 1. And our third pick, of course, in here, well, we talked a little bit about Wicked Prankster for sure. Wicked Prankster, the number 11, does appear to be the speed to me in here for sure. And uh, is 8 to 1 on the morning line to be, you know, that's pretty, pretty nuts. So the 4 and the 8, that, you know, they're going to be formally placed in their square prices. The number 11, Wicked Prankster, has three wins with 23 starts, four seconds and four thirds, right? Um... Mr. Davis is doing all the training. This horse was coming off of a 100-day layoff for sure. Ran uh, October 16th and went gate to wire. Now, here's the thing that I hate about the number 11. One, he's far outside, but he's fast enough to get out, get over before the first turn without losing ground. But the other thing is the horse ran October 16th. That was six days ago. So you know that doesn't bode well with me. That's why he's my third pick. Probably should be my fourth pick. I just, you know, I, I just don't like that, you know, personally in terms of betting a lot of money. So our third pick will be the number 11, um, 
wicked prankster in this year's uh, million uh, Maryland million turf for sure. And from there, I mean, I don't think there's anything else that really catches my fancy in this race. You know, I guess if I had to round it out, uh, it would be Nick down there in the number 12 horse. Probably would be our, our fourth pick to round out our super for sure. So in this year's uh, Merlin Million Turf, I love Cannon's River in this spot. A bit of a hanger. I think the speed figures are fine. The horse is in the middle of the pack. I think the horse should be sitting in a nice, a nice spot behind uh, the prankster horse, the number 11, and the number 4, who's going to be forwardly placed. So I expect Cannon's Roar to be sitting about 4th or 5th and get the jump, settle in, and, and get a good run at these around the turn. And our second pick, oh, I love the price on the number 4, So Street. We're going to do, uh, our third pick will be the number 11, the prankster horse, who's rolling back too soon for my blood, and we'll round it out with the 12. So it's all about the 8 for us here. We love it. We're going to key the horse on top for sure over top of the 11 4 and 9 in this spot we love cannons roar here we're going to bet a few dollars to win on this horse for sure as well so there it is in your maryland million turf ninth race it's all about cannons roar for us for sure eight over to 11 over to 4 11 9 in that order stay classy y'all and as always email me speedking24 at yahoo Dot com at yahoo.com for sure and i'm getting tip sheets out now for all our folks out there in california that want them for sure hey mr rob rob raglan always purchasing stuff he's such a classy listener and a couple other folks out there for sure stay classy y'all in everything you do 13 days before breeders come enjoy yourself be safe